Hi guys, Cliff Olson, Doctor of Audiology and founder of Applied Hearing Solutions in Phoenix, Arizona. And in this video, I'm talking about the constant innovation that has to happen to make better hearing aid technology. Coming up. Have you ever stopped to consider the amount of time, research, money, and innovation that has to go into developing new hearing aid technology? Now I know that some of you out there think that this process of research and development and even manufacturing is super simple, but people who truly understand the hearing aid industry know how complex this process is. On the surface, amplifying sound to overcome a hearing loss seems simple. I mean, just boost the volume of things to overcome your hearing loss and voila, the problem is solved. Well, that's that's basically what hearing aids did back in the day, and that's roughly equivalent to just increasing the volume on your TV. And if you're like most people with hearing loss, you know that just boosting the volume on your TV makes things louder, but not necessarily clearer. And you also likely know that having a lot more volume is great, but if you don't get clarity with it, it's kind of pointless. It is no wonder why hearing aid satisfaction rates back in the day with analog hearing aids was extremely low. Fortunately, the development of fully digital hearing aids technology that only started back in the mid-1990s drastically changed the capabilities of hearing aids into the future and also significantly increased hearing aid satisfaction rates along with it. But these improvements did not happen overnight. It took a lot of time and effort to get us to the point where we are now. But before I explain what some of these technological improvements were, if you could do me a huge favor and click the like button, it really helps out my channel because it gets these videos in front of a broader audience. And while you're at if you have not yet hit that subscribe button with notification bell, go ahead and do that as well because that ensures that you never miss one of my newly released videos. And a huge shout out to Phonak for sponsoring today's video, but more on them in a little bit. And in order to create the modern digital hearing aids that we now enjoy today, hearing aid manufacturers have had to constantly push the envelope little by little to develop these new innovative hearing aid technologies. For instance, consider the receiver in canal hearing aid that uses an open fit rubber dome. While this is by far the most popular hearing aid that we have today, this hearing aid didn't even exist before 2003. Why did this style of hearing aid not even exist prior to 2003? Because the simple act of leaving your ear canal open so you don't feel plugged up caused an issue known as feedback. And until we had technology that was good enough to cancel out this feedback, you couldn't even use this type of a hearing aid. And it took engineers a lot of time and money to figure out how to solve this problem that we take for granted today. Or how about lithium ion rechargeable hearing aid technology. For decades, you could only use disposable batteries inside of hearing aids that you would have to dispose of after a few days to a few weeks. And the first attempts to create rechargeable hearing aids led us to nickel metal hydride battery technology and silver zinc battery technology, both which had issues with battery life and reliability. Their development was very time consuming and expensive, but it also paved the way for lithium ion technology. And sure, lithium ion battery technology is easy to use if you can use a larger battery like you would find inside of a laptop, a phone, or even a Tesla. However, when you need to store enough energy for a supercomputer like a hearing aid to process sound for 12 to 18 hours a day inside of a battery that is no bigger than the tip of your pinky finger, that is a tall order. Fortunately for you, the hearing aid engineers over at Phonak, today's video sponsor, solved that problem too. You see, Phonak is constantly exploring the limits of what is possible with hearing aid technology like we saw with the development of the Odeo Lumity lineup. Well, Phonak is now pushing these boundaries again to serve more individuals with unique hearing losses by releasing new models on this Lumity platform. This will bring Phonak's flagship smart speech technology to virtually every form factor of Lumity devices. This includes the Naida PR and UP behind the ear hearing aids for individuals with severe to profound hearing losses, as well as the new Lumity cross device, which is compatible with most Audeo, Naida, and Sky hearing aids for individuals with single-sided deafness. And to celebrate Phonak's 50-year anniversary of creating pediatric hearing aids, they are now releasing a new Phonak Sky Lumity device for children and adolescents who want to experience this amazing technology as well. And I should also add that the Audeo hearing aids, the new cross transmitter, and the Sky devices are now coming in some new fun colors. So whether or not you're a child or an adult who wants a colorful hearing aid, phonak has got you covered there too. Phonak has also put a lot of emphasis on improving their MyPhonak 
Mac hearing aid app as well as their My Junior hearing aid app. These updates will allow you to have a more seamless experience when using your Lumity devices. And none of these technological advancements would even be possible if you didn't have companies like Phonak constantly pushing the boundaries of what is possible with technological innovation. If there's one thing that I know for sure, it's that we should want these hearing aid manufacturers to constantly be putting out better and better hearing aid technology because that's how we get from where we were 20 years ago to where we are today. But hearing aid technology is not the only technological innovation that has taken us from low hearing aid satisfaction rates back in the day to higher satisfaction rates of today. The manner in which we test these hearing aids in a hearing aid clinic and program these hearing aids have also improved. For instance, performing diagnostic testing on these hearing aids to make sure that they are still meeting manufacturer specifications after they've been handled sometimes inappropriately by a shipping company is very important to know that these hearing aids are going to mechanically function properly for you. This prevents you from being fit with awesome hearing aids that are not actually working the way that they were intended to work, significantly reducing your performance. These technological improvements inside of a hearing aid clinic also include real ear measurement, which is the only way to verify if your hearing aids have been programmed correctly to your hearing loss prescription so you can maximize your perceived benefit. Research has proven time and time again that hearing aids fit and programmed using real ear measurement significantly reduces the amount of time that you have to go in and see your hearing care professional, it results in higher hearing aid satisfaction rates, and it leads to better speech intelligibility both in quiet and in background noise. Without the innovation that led to test box measures and real ear measurement, you could be using some of the most amazing hearing aids in the world but not actually receiving the full amount of benefit. What hearing aid manufacturers have been able to achieve over the past several decades is nothing short of amazing. It is easy to just do what everyone else is doing and make a device that does what they do, but it is another level to be able to develop new technology that has never been created before. And they have to develop all of these brand new technologies to suit a variety of different individuals with different types and configurations of hearing loss so everybody can hear their best. So the next time that you get a new pair of hearing aids that were just released, I want you to think of how much time and effort went into developing this new technology. Because the hearing aids that we have today are literally the most technologically advanced devices that have ever existed.